Hey everyone, this is Two Way Enthusiast. Uh, I've just been doing a lot of reading lately about the Las Vegas shooting, and uh, last night I saw that um, the uh, quest to ban bump fire stocks has picked up a lot of momentum. Um, I think it's kind of crazy to be honest with you. I mean, I don't have a bump fire stock. When I first saw they came, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool, and I really had no interest. Um, I actually like to aim when I shoot, I just don't want to just spray bullets. And uh, the other thing is that something that shoots at that rate of speed, it will end up making me go into the poorhouse trying to buy ammunition for it. So I never really had an interest. I just like regular, you know, semi-automatics and brake action and revolvers and, you know, regular stuff. Um, with that said, uh, I'm not too happy with the fact that um, a lot of politicians are jumping on the bandwagon. I expect this from Democrats. Um, we should not be having this from Republicans who are saying, oh, gee, well, why don't we just try banning them now? Because it makes them like machine guns. Well, not really. Uh, totally different. Um, what's most disappointing is the NRA is jumping on board. Now, I know some people are saying, well, the NRA are doing it just so they can, um, you know, maybe give a little bit so that more is not taken, taken down the road. Totally disagree with that because what's going to happen is they're going to ban this. And I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. There's going to be a bill. Uh, it's going to be something that these senators and congressmen don't use. And they're going to say, well, it's not a big deal. We'll just ban this one thing. But then what's going to happen down the road? Are they going to ban collapsible stocks? Are they going to ban vertical grips? Uh, are they going to ban uh, magazines that hold more than 30 rounds? How about 30 rounds? How about 20 round magazines? We're going to ban those next? Why not semi-automatics? So you can see, this is a slippery slope. Uh, you have to put up a wall and say, we're not going by this. And that's exactly what's happening. Now what's interesting is, I believe I read that slide fire stock started in 2010. I never remember any crime being committed with a slide fire stock. There's this one. I mean, it's a, it's a terrible crime, but it's still one crime. Uh, it's not like this is a big, huge deal that, you know, is, is going to be the plague of the nation. And... Uh, I don't know, if you if you ban a, uh, an accessory, isn't that infringing on someone's rights? I don't know why it's so hard to understand, you know, a sentence in, in uh, the Bill of Rights, but it seems like they have a lot of trouble with that, and uh, I just can't believe that the NRA is going along with this. Uh, it's just mind-boggling. Um, I renewed my membership recently, and i got to tell you, I don't think I would have if, if I had found out about this beforehand. It's, I... I just find it so upsetting they, they're giving up on, on something and uh, basically giving in to the gun-grabbing lobby. Um, so, uh, you know, I'd, I'd be actually be curious if anyone um, has a, a, a slide fire stock and, you know, wants to comment about it, what you think about it. Um, recently, just out of curiosity, I checked out about 15 online stores to see if there are any in stock out of uh, maybe... 14, 15 stores I checked, only one of them had them in stock, and I think the reason why is they were charging $289. As you might remember, not too long ago, they were going about $100, 150 and uh, now they're, you know, this one place had them for like $280. Um, yeah, so I'd really like to hear what you guys think about uh, slide fire stocks, and then one other funny thing is, I wonder if anyone's told them that you can actually bump fire without a special stock. I'm sure that'll blow their minds. They'll probably want to ban fingers and thumbs next. All right, guys, have a good day, and uh, talk to you later.